hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new here my name is ellie and i have just finished part three of the mathematical tripos at the university of cambridge which as i say in all of my videos is a fancy way of saying that i study a maths masters so this video was from may so we were very much in exam season my exam started at the start of june and I'm getting around to editing this video now because of how intense my course was this year. So expect a whole range of different videos of what I was getting up to during exam season and just Cambridge life in general over the coming weeks. So this was the view from my room, which I'm sure many of you have seen. The library is actually in the same building that my room is in, but I prefer to revise in the postgraduate common room just because the environment is a little bit nicer and the lighting isn't quite as harsh. Uh, so I don't get headaches quite as bad because I'm somebody that suffers with migraines from quite intense lighting. So this is my college. This is Sydney Sussex College. And as I say in all of my videos, I love it here. I miss it now that I have finished my master's. But it's one of those colleges that is so kept out of the way that you don't really know it exists. And I think that's what makes it so magical to me that it's just kind of hidden, a hidden gem of Cambridge, I'd say. So I walked to the postgraduate common room and got there for around 6.30, which is a lot earlier than most of my uh, postgraduate friends who generally get there a lot later. And it's a nice environment for me in the morning just because there's nobody there apart from the cleaner who occasionally pops in. And it's just a nice, quiet environment for me to get my work done. So today was the 18th of May, it was 6.30, and the first thing I did was watch a revision class. So at part three maths, so my maths masters, we have revision classes just before our exams. Those modules you took in Michaelmas, which is first term, are the week earlier, and then the week after are the modules you took in Lent term. So this revision class was for astrophysical fluid dynamics, which I really, really enjoyed this year, and it was just going over a past paper. So once I had caught up on the revision class, I then turned the lights out, even though it looks like I've just turned them on, <laughs> and headed out to grab some breakfast from Sainsbury's because Sainsbury's opens at 7.30. These are just the postgraduate photos on the way out of the postgraduate common room. So this was the walk back to my room, and I went to my room because I forgot my earphones, and when other people start coming into the postgraduate common room, I can't play my lectures out loud. <laughs> so I went back to my room, I uh, found the jacket, that I keep pretty much everything in because this is the jacket I wear all the time. Found my earphones and yeah, luckily they were charged. And then went, dropped that off at the postgraduate common room or the MCR. It was half seven, which meant Sainsbury's was open and I headed to Sainsbury's. So this is the walk out of my college. There is a nicer walk out, which is through the front gates, but this is the quickest way from the MCR. So this is my college from the outside. The wisteria was dying which was quite sad but in March time when the wisteria is kind of grown in full it's so pretty and I think it's now my favourite flower after studying at Sydney this year so this is the entrance through the front gate and this is my college Sydney Sussex College with the sun shining very very strongly in the background I then got back uh, had my granola pot which I usually have been getting from Sainsbury's and my coffees that have three and a half cups of caffeine in, which I didn't realise. <laughs> so that's why I'm so energetic. And then on this day was quite a special day because I had reached 10,000 subscribers on my coding channel. So for those of you that don't know, I have a coding channel and I just teach people how to code really, Python, uh, and it's hit off really, really well. So then Jason joined me in the MCR and we had a bit of chat about how I'd reached my 10,000 subscribers because all of my friends at Cambridge have been so supportive about my YouTube channels and things. I get a bit shy when I talk about my YouTube channels um, and they've just been so supportive about it. So, yeah. And then I put on my study focus playlist, which is on my Spotify, which I have linked in the description box if you're interested in listening to any of those songs and put on the Flora timer, which is a Pomodoro technique and started going through some example sheets for my astro statistics module. So what I was doing here was just going through the example sheets, trying to remember the answers from memory, or just reworking them out myself. And it's something that my departmental contacts told me to do before my exams. So at part three, you have your director of studies, which is through your college. You have your college tutor, which again is through your college. And then you have a de departmental contact. So my department was the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics at the University of Cambridge in the Mathematical Sciences Centre. 
and my departmental contact was a lecturer from Trinity College and he explained what I needed to basically be able to do before exam started and one of those things was going back over example sheets and being able to answer those example sheets without looking at the solutions. So after a very busy morning, I headed out for a quick walk around Sydney Gardens, which I do in most of my videos I've posted. And it's just a bit of a reminder that you need to take a break from work. And I think because I live on college site, I live very much the midst of our beautiful college. And I think it's kind of hard not to go for walks on occasion just because of how pretty the college is and as I say in my videos I'm going to miss it so much it's just one of those views that I would never get tired of and I think that's why I filmed it so much because I never really took it for granted like I imagine some people do and yeah I really really miss going for walks with some of my best friends and just having a general chit chat around some really really pretty gardens. What was quite exciting about this time was that we had a college woodpecker and it was having a little baby and you'll see in a moment that I would come out here every day and try get pictures of it and kind of hide away so that I wouldn't scare it and it was very much the highlight of my revision period. I must admit it was a okay I'm feeling a little bit stressed let's go and look at the woodpecker and take my mind off things. So that was the mother bird feeding the baby bird and just poking its head out and sadly the woodpeckers have flown the nest now which is quite sad but it was a nice distraction during exams I must admit <laughs> so after visiting the woodpecker I got back and continued doing my example sheet work and this was for astro statistics which I've mentioned in some of my previous videos it was a module I was taking as a bit of an aside this term I really really enjoyed stats at my undergrad and it was the modules that I actually performed the best in, in terms of the compulsory modules at my undergrad. And I also did some statistics as part of my dissertation last year, which was statistical mechanics. And I really, really enjoyed that. And this year I've had a flavour of astrophysics. So I thought, let's mix two things I really enjoy, astrophysics and statistics. And it was a really, really interesting module. Um, but it was the module I did the worst in and I think that's just because it was something very new to me this year but either way I still really enjoyed it. So here I am taking another break after doing 50 minutes and this was me trying to score goals against Jason. Now I don't play properly, I spin the the men around, I'm not really sure what the, the term is. Again here I am scoring because I'm completely cheating by spinning the entire uh, stick around um, but Jason is a professional at foosball so any chance to beat him at a goal is is an achievement in my books. Forget finishing my Cambridge degree, just beating Jason in foosball is is an achievement in itself because he is pretty much a pro at it. So after I failed to beat Jason at foosball, I then got back and did some more work on my example sheets. The good thing about this module was that we had solutions to example sheets. Now it's not uncommon at part three to have modules that don't have the full solutions. I think three of my modules didn't have full solutions and I took five modules. So that's something that is quite difficult to get used to. Speaking of beating Jason at foosball, Saeed <laughs> actually beat Jason for the first time and he'd been trying all year. And this is his reaction. <laughs> As I say, it's an achievement in itself to beat Jason at foosball. Here's Jason, who I've been friends with since the start. And here is Anna, who has become a really good friend of mine throughout the last few months of my degree and she's a medic and we then had pizza Jason and I shared a pizza from Sainsbury's sat outside because the weather was so nice and then came back inside and got some work done here I was just watching an example class so I was going back over an example class to check over the example sheet solutions and generally just to make sure I understood exactly what it is he was talking about now astro statistics was really really interesting but it was quite intricate with the astrophysics details and that's something that I really needed to pay attention to alongside the statistics, the underlying statistics itself. So once I'd done a lot more work, we then headed out for another little walk. We saw Heidi on the way, she was eating her food and both Heidi and Jason have left back to go back to the US, which I'm really sad about. Two of my closest friends have, have left now and... We're all separating apart, which is really, really sad. It's something that you kind of don't realise until it happens, just how much you've made a family. For me this year, I've made 
some of the closest friends I think I'll ever make and it's been the best year for me so for people to be leaving and going on to do different things it's it's really sad but also I wouldn't have had the experiences that I had this year if it weren't for the people I met and I say that every time I speak to you know my family or anybody about Cambridge Cambridge itself is is incredible but the reason I had such a great year was because of the friends I made and like I say it just felt like a, a little family so it's sad when people start leaving so Heidi and Jason I know you watch my videos you'll be missed but anyway um and then I went to the shop and got some Bongella because I'm a drama queen and had a sore tooth I grind my teeth which I don't know why I'm telling you this but I grind my teeth really hard because of stress and things so yeah I had to fix my teeth with some Bongella which made me feel like I was a child again but anyway after I'd put Bongella on my teeth I then got back and did some work so this work consisted of just doing my example sheet work again I'd got a lot more work done than I expected today so this work was a little bit of a chit chat as well as just writing up and answering the example sheet questions that I was doing in the morning and then once I'd done that it was right around dinner time or tea time this was my food which does not look appetizing at all but I wasn't really feeling, Eleanor also feels the same, but I also wasn't feeling the, the sides, so I got arancini balls, which are delicious. Sydney does the best arancini balls, and I'm going to miss them a lot. <laughs> so after I'd had a quick tea or dinner outside, I finished off the work that I wanted to get done today, and I had a really productive day, spent a lot of time doing work, and just really good focused work, so I was really happy with what I'd got done in the day. And then at around seven o'clock, I started doing an application for the space placements in industry, which was an internship I did in 2020 when the pandemic hit. And it's basically a place that do internships for people interested in the space industry. And it's a program that I am a solid promoter for because it is honestly the best way for undergrads or postgrads to get into the space industry. So I had originally planned to take a year out after my year at Cambridge just to work on my coding channel and just to pursue a few opportunities that I'd been offered. So what I was doing here was just applying for internships so that I would have some experience over summer and then I could take the year out. But since then, my plans have changed, which I'll explain in another video, uh, which is all exciting news that I have to share. So once I'd done that, I then started writing out some past paper questions, just some queries that I had for some past papers and generally just going back and doing some more revision again. I was joined by Adrian and Anna, who you saw earlier, and Adrian is part of the Juggling Society, and he can not only juggle balls, he can also juggle peanut M&Ms. Hey, you're trying <laughs> 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 I'm just going to end the recording. <laughs> Why is it not stopping recording? So that was the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.